Yo, it's slow low with slow low music right here on YouTube with my man Kane Beach right here. The next hottest producer, he out there. He hot, you gotta check him out. YouTube exclusive, straight from Atlanta to the shot of Texas, LA. We everywhere. Check us out. Shout out slow low. Because you can get a you can get a sound from that from that speaker that like using Mackies and all these top end speakers, you only know when you play in your car it's gonna sound worse. So if you get the KRKs going, you can feel the bass in the KRKs, then you already know what's gonna be. As far as for a um, when you need it, I got in my studio I got real big club speakers though. I got that for little John because I was in the studio with him for two days and I remember watching him travel with that big club speakers and I'm like, what is he doing? But it was he was able to achieve that space, you know what I'm saying? So now you know I don't need too many sounds. So I got the big club matrixes, I got the big four foot sub in there, you know what I'm saying? It's huge. But I use that for just the banging process of knowing how it's gonna feel in the club. But if using KRKs, I wouldn't even use them so What size KRK are you? Um, what size is that? The big ones, not the small ones. The yeah, the eight. Yeah, the rocket. Cool. Well, I see we have um, Miss Yawanda Carter in the audience. A she very at? profound entertainment lawyer. Where's she at? <laughs> you look nice today, <laughs> I don't think she wants to wear that. She looks nice today. But talk about how important it is to have a good entertainment lawyer, and, and where in your career did you um, say, "Hey, I need to get a, a lawyer"? Because a lot of people get them at different times. You want the honest story, or do you want me to give y'all the story I'm supposed to tell y'all? The honest story is my my business was so messed up. It was just like I had nowhere to go, and I was like, "Yo, man." I'm hot, and nobody thinks I'm hot. Everybody keeps putting me at the bottom. I told they told them post. So I was like. A good friend of mine, Orlando McGee, introduced me to Wanda. She took a, an interest in my career, an interest, in, interest in my life as a producer, you know what I'm saying? We was able to, she was able to help me straighten out a lot of things, because, I mean, creatively, that's easy for producers, that's what we do. But when it comes down to the music and the business of it, a lot of times producers, they kind of spend time not thinking about it, or they got it overanalyzed. They send their beat CDs to the government still, trying to get them copyrighted. And I'm like, that's not even what we do anymore. So. I mean, it's the, without a without a lawyer, you can't you can't even have these conversations. You don't get trampled when you walk into these meetings. So it's like I mean, it's more important than a manager for a producer because you and sometimes you manage yourself in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? But you can't handle them contracts. I promise you. Definitely. So make sure you guys are taking care of your business. You yeah. talk about manager. You said you were self managing yourself. How was that early on in your career? And um, what were some of the challenges of self managing? I had a manager for a while and it just wasn't working out. I was breaking them off too much money and I was making my own money. So I was like, I stopped it. And I just said, I, I said, I feel like I'm worth a little bit more than that. So I'm not going to get a manager until I get to the point where I can get the best manager. So it was difficult, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of grind in the beginning, late night studio hopping and all that stuff. But if you got a lawyer, you got a manager, you don't need nothing because you're not on the road. You're not going to do the shows or nothing. You just need to be in that studio making beats. So. It was really just the idea of having to shop all my own records, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm the kind of person where I can develop relationships, and that's really important for everybody. You gotta be able to develop relationships. People need to like you. Because if they can see your face, and you send them a beat, and they remember you like, oh, he was cool. They're gonna listen to your music differently from listening to 50 beats they just got sent, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Um, any more questions? Okay, I'll take this gentleman in the front. Um, sometimes a little herbal inspiration, you know. Um, it just depends, you know what I'm saying? I play, sometimes I play the piano for hours, just because you don't, because I always try to come up with something new. Sometimes it'll come to you in 10 minutes, you know what I'm saying? It depends what kind of record I'm doing. If I'm doing a club record, you can knock that out quick. If I'm trying to do something epic, though, I, I start with the piano, because you always change the sounds later anyway. But just play around the piano until I get a melody I like. And then it's really sound choice. Like, lately I used to use a lot of audio, but now I just switched over to soft sense and a lot of um, VSTs, because I was using a lot, I always use Fruit Loops, but I was always plugging it through my um, keyboard. So now that I switched over to 